it was a golden age. Fearless riders and their ungainly machines. A bold blend of vision, machinery, sheer guts, and art. Who were those brilliant and daring two-wheeled pioneers, and what was their story? Join antique motorcycle expert Pete Gagan as he rebuilds history right here on Pete's Garage. Hi, I'm Pete Gagan. Welcome to Pete's Garage. It's not just about the garage and what's in it, but in over 50 years of collecting and restoring bikes like this 1911 Pierce, I've been to a lot of great places and met a lot of great people. I'd like to share some of those adventures with you. If it's old and on two wheels, Pete Gagan has either seen it, ridden on it, or has built it. Pete's an expert on the subject of antique motorcycles and has been riding, building, and rebuilding them for the past 50 years. Okay, it's going good. She's flying. We got lots of power. One quarter throttle. We're blasting along here about, oh, 20 miles an hour maybe. This is great up here. I mean, you can see where you're going. You can see all over. I'm probably 10 feet off the ground. At least it feels like it. I think I'm going to have to be careful when I stop this, so this, the brakes, whoa, you know, not that great. I bought my first motorcycle in 1956. It was a 1912 Indian. It was at least three years before I met anybody else that shared my passion, so I had to join the Antique Car Club. Some of their interests rubbed off on me, and as a result, there's the odd antique car goes in and out of Pete's garage. Well, we got to wait is 10 or 15 minutes and we'll be able to blast down the road in this thing, hopefully. Don't forget your hat. Oh yeah, right. But you know, I don't have that much hair left, but it just, I don't want it all blowing out. Okay, here we go. Now this is a sampling valve for blazing acceleration and then up with the throttle. Yeah, we're doing okay here with pressure and things. Haven't had any fires or explosions yet. This is good. Well, that was our little history of steam. I'm Pete Gagan. We'll see you next week on Pete's Garage. If international travel on two motorized wheels is your thing, the cast and crew of Pete's Garage are traveling the roads of North America, Europe, the racetracks of England, and more to bring the color and excitement of the classic motorcycle world to your living room. Last year, we joined the FIVA World Motorcycle Rally in Slovenia. We had a great time. Join us as we travel around Eastern Europe. Three days. To Slovenia, 909 kilometers.
<laughs> you have a Moto Kuzi electric start this year? Oh, no, no. We got a uh, Honda electric start Oh, this Japan. Year. You turn it to Japan. Yeah, okay, well, my friend. You know, a factory ride. Brand new Honda, so it's a test machine. So this will be fun. Uh, Pete's Garage is going a bit new right now. Uh, that's uh, yeah, my, my standard outfit for Henderson. <laughs> I-18 1960, very good bike, very reliable. British made, of course. <laughs> BSA stands for bloody sore ass. <laughs> and I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Not all old motorcycles are slow. Take this 120 mile an hour Excelsior for example. Let's go to Mallory Park, England, the festival of a thousand bikes, and watch some old guys and some old motorcycles going really quickly. Here we are at Mallory Park Raceway, located in the Midlands of England which is between Leicester and Coventry. And we're here for the Festival of a Thousand Bikes. The Festival of a Thousand Bikes caters to motorcycles from the early 1900s to the 90s, and it caters to motorcyclists aged 17 to 93, which is the age of Titch Allen, who's gonna be driving a Morgan. And they're all here. Burger, onion, mustard. <laughs> oh, they'll zoom round. They'll zoom round. I've just been informed that they're just married and on their honeymoon, so they're up for a fast lap. First time out on this machine. What am I going to do? Uh, tremble. <laughs> get in older. I mean the Grim Reaper is probably just around the bloody corner. I better get this thing fixed and quick. You see. I hate it where these old guys expire and there's piles of things of hopeless dreams in their shed, all in pieces and somebody has to what's this for? What's that for? Believe it or not, 
three race jitters have set in. <laughs> Five years since Peter's done this, we just hope that the old skill for the master is still there. Because things can go mighty wrong at this speed. Very nervous laps, followed by a feeling of calm when I realized what an amazing motorcycle this is. And I had some fun. I actually managed to pass a few people. It was great. What a wonderful way to finish a weekend at Mallory Park at Festival of a Thousand Bikes in this great spot.